Steph, uh, just what was the key for you in the in the third quarter for you guys to, to get on that run? Was it similar to Wednesday? You just limited the turnovers, or what else was was going on there? I mean, that's uh, that was most of it. Um, you know, they played hard in the first half. You don't want to discredit their effort. Um, played a solid first half. Tried to keep the pressure on us. Uh, we had some untimely turnovers, but. For the most part, it was one of those things I didn't think we were playing that bad. Um, we obviously up one going into the half, and third quarter has been our strength recently. Um, come out strong, focus on taking care of the basketball, getting great shots, and defending at a high level. We were able to accomplish that and uh, kind of break the game open. And it was a well-rounded effort from, from everybody. Um, I don't know how many guys played in the third quarter, but it seemed like a lot, and everybody had an impact. Could you just describe the play that you know looked like you got knocked on the on the thigh, and then how are you feeling right now? KD passed off that uh, that contusion to me, so same exact kind of situation, just trying to come off a screen and uh, got got knee in the thigh. Uh, obviously, able to to keep playing. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna hurt tomorrow, but I, hopefully, I'll be all right. Yeah, Steph, as you mentioned, you still came back on the floor and obviously uh, played the rest of the way. How did, well, how did you approach that overall just in terms of getting to your comfort level and that sort of thing? You, uh, I mean, you deal with pain. You just kind of try to pick and choose your spots. And um, you don't want to lose a step on the defensive end and just try to uh, just keep yourself moving, try to stay as, as active as possible, um, especially with something like this. If, if you try to slow down at all, um, it's where it gets worse. So every basketball player that's played this game has had something like that happen. Um, and you just got to find a way to get through it and worry about it after the game. Steph, a nice piece of writing by you today. Um, what did it mean to you to be able to express yourself um, in the Players' Tribune that way and, and be able to thank the veterans and share your stand? It was extremely important, um, obviously, on a day like today with what it, what it means, um, honoring and celebrating uh, our active military personnel and the veterans that have, uh, you know, sacrificed so much for us and, and, and really just an opportunity to highlight um, the, the conversation that the military and the flag and the protests and the anthem and all that has kind of been thrust in, into the sports world and um, just try to cut through all that noise and, and make sure from my voice and my platform that, you know, that the, the conversation is around how we can help people, how we can, you know, change our society for the better with all the issues that we need to change and not so much about um, who said what, who did what, uh, who, t who tweeted what um, and, and whatnot. So, you know, that, that was today is a no, no better day to do that um, with – how many people have, have have sacrificed for our country and for our freedom? So um, I think it came together really nicely, and, and hopefully it meant a lot to to further that conversation. Steph, Ben, and Joel held scoreless in that first quarter. Your first live look of the two of them. What was your take? I mean, they're they're threats every possession. Um, just kind of understanding. How, how explosive, especially Ben is, and with the ball in his hands, trying to, you know, get get by you, drive into the lane. He's got great touch around the rim, and he's very unorthodox with how he gets his shots up. So um, we saw it on film, but you kind of it takes you a little bit off guard at first. Kind of, you know, he's a lefty that likes to shoot that little right-handed hook and floater and stuff like that. And so for defenders guarding him, uh, you have to adjust to that. And, and obviously, with the attention you need to to cast to, to Joel. Um, no matter where he is on the floor, uh, it's it's huge. So uh, they're like I said before, they're they're going to be great for this league for a very long time. Uh, obviously, we had a, we had a great performance against them, trying to just slow them down, and um, they're going to create problems as long as they're playing in this league. And uh, it, it's going to be great to see them see them kind of develop as they go along. Steph, sorry, just to know which leg got got hit. My right one. Okay, and yeah. also when you look. Do you ever look at Draymond's line and still just be somewhat in awe when you see everything he's doing? <laughs> or does it just kind of come by second nature at this point? I think, uh, you, I don't know if we don't take it for granted, but you understand how impactful he can be without really scoring a lot of points or having any ooh or ah moments on the offensive end. He has a lot of ooh ah moments 
with the hustle plays and defensively and seems like he's always kind of in the play somehow and so we appreciate every every little bit of that effort and and that uh, the, the results that he kind of you know provides every single time he's out there on the floor um, and the stat lines you know sometimes look like this where he's so well rounded across the board you know points rebounds assists and block shots and and whatnot and you know he'll, he'll bang down three four threes every every once in a while you just you appreciate what he brings to the to the squad every single night and his energy and his, his passion. Steph, congratulations on the win. I know you just spoke about Veterans Day, but I just want to ask one more question about your article. Uh, you talked about holding up our part of the bargain as civilians. So moving forward beyond Veterans Day, how do we do that? And my next question was, were you on the floor during the anthem? My managers at KGO are going to kill me if I don't ask you that, because we didn't see you. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, for full transparency, nature called uh, pregame, so there you go for that one. Um, but there are countless ways that we all can contribute and uh, take action. Um, there's no set formula for how each of us can do that, but uh, just the awareness of the issues at hand. Um, I've been educated so much just in the last week of – uh, issues that our veterans are, are dealing with, uh, with health care, with job opportunities, with just support from from the government and, and from, you know, local communities. So um, just that education has kind of helped me understand how I can get involved. Um, you know, personally, I've been a part of Thanks USA, who's uh, raised money for uh, – Scholarships for families of active active military personnel, um, a, a subtle way to hopefully give them a leg up while their family members are serving, um, a, you know, at, at, at home and abroad. So just about ch changing the uh, the conversation around the question that you just asked. Um, and for me, I, hopefully I can uh, help direct that attention to where it needs to be going forward. Uh, Stefan, um, you guys have won on the six in a row by at least 15 points. What are the things you point to as the reasons why you guys are on this roll and why you're winning so decisively? We, I think we just turned a corner in our, in our, in our season. Obviously, we started off pretty slow, but um, there comes a point where you start to find your rhythm. Um, you understand the details, on, especially the defensive end for us, um, which have gotten so much better since you know two weeks ago. And... Everybody's just feeling good and, and, and playing in rhythm. So we want to hopefully, obviously, the, the goal is to sustain that over the course of the season and, and, and elevate your play as you look forward to the playoffs. But, um, you know, so far we, we took the challenge of how bad we started in the first four games, five games. Uh, even though we had some wins in there, we weren't playing our best and took those challenges and focused on them. We obviously know we can still get better, um, and that's the that's the goal. So just uh, – yeah, riding that momentum and, and, and want to sustain it.